Hey, what's up, guys? I'm PTC. Blizzard just announced some information for Season 3 of Competitive Ranked Mode in Overwatch. They also announced the starting date of Season 3 and the ending date of Season 2. So, Season 2 will be ending on November 24th, and Season 3 will be beginning one week later on December 1st. During the off-season, there's going to be an in-game countdown until the next season begins. Now, one of their original plans was to have a pretty big gap in between the seasons. I think it was originally supposed to be between two and three weeks. And people really got frustrated with this because it was a lot of downtime. So what they ended up doing in between Season 1 and Season 2 was they tried to get whatever balancing and whatever internal stuff that they needed to do fixed as fast as possible, and then they ended up starting Season 2 a little bit early. In fact, Season 2 kind of just dropped out of the sky one day when all of a sudden, hey, Season 2 is up and ready, anybody who wants to try it. Go ahead and log in, and uh, almost nobody was ready for it. It just kind of appeared. But now they actually do have the official dates for Season 3 and uh, when Season 2 will be ending. So we still have a little bit of time if you want to continue playing Season 2 competitive mode, if you want to grind up your skill rank a little bit further. Now, as far as skill rank goes, they are going to be kind of redoing it a little bit. As it turns out, there was a lot more people that were put into gold and platinum than there should have been. Uh, Blizzard has said that a lot of players were improperly placed in those brackets, and as a result, they saw their skill rating go quite a bit down. So in Season 3, what they're going to do is uh, they're going to try to space people out a little bit more. And uh, one of their main reasons was because when people start in gold or they start in platinum, and then they just start seeing themselves kind of slide down the hill and they go from plat to gold and then from gold to silver and then from silver to bronze, it's not a very good feeling. It's not a very good experience for people. So Blizzard is going to try to be a little more accurate with the placement matches. In fact, what they're going to be doing is instead of a full reset, a hard reset like they did with Season 2, what they're going to do is they're going to actually take your previous season rating and they're going to kind of start you roughly in that area. So if you're a platinum at the end of Season 2, when you start doing your Season 3 placement matches, you're going to be playing against other Platinums. One of the main problems was at the beginning of Season 2, because there was a hard reset, you had people with incredible disparity in their skill brackets being put into the same placement matches together. So you had people that were in Diamond and Masters basically playing alongside people that were in Bronze and Silver. And it really didn't make for a very good experience because usually one team would just get absolutely rolled or something to that effect. So what they're going to do in Season 3 is you will do your placement matches with people who were basically around your skill from the previous season. Another thing they talked about is what you can expect from the beginning of Season 3 because it's going to be a little bit different from the first two seasons. So just because you finished Season 2 in Platinum Bracket doesn't mean that you're going to be placed into Platinum at the start of Season 3, even after your placement matches. In fact, Blizzard is intentionally tuning everybody down a little bit. And again, the reason for that is because they believe they have way too many people in the Gold and and platinum range. So after you do your placement matches, you can expect to be one or two brackets lower than what you finished at in Season 2. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a terrible bracket. It just means that they're trying to spread the player base out a little bit further. So it's a little more accurate at depicting where you are on the player scale of all of the competitive ladder. Now, another thing to keep in mind for the beginning of Season 3 is because they're tuning everybody down a little bit, what they're going to do is they're going to award 
kind of extra points for winning matches at the beginning of the season. So they're going to tune everybody down, but they might accidentally tune people a little too much. So for those of us that are able to win a bunch of matches at the beginning of the season, you're going to get a little bit more points than a normal match. So that way it kind of bumps you into the appropriate category for your skill level. Now, if you want to check out any of this or Season 3, it is available on the PTR right now. If you want to try that out, all you have to do is go to your Battle.net launcher and change your region from Americas or Europe or whatever you have it and change it to the PTR. And then you will download the special PTR client and you can try it out and you can also mess around with all of the different balance changes that they've made to the heroes. But that's going to be about it for this one. Let me know what you guys think about all of these changes in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe because there's lots more Overwatch coming. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.